does it say? Oh, hey everybody. Hey everybody, welcome to Tea Time with Team Epic Reach. Cheers. Cheers. This is our 95th episode. 95. The lucky number 95. I'm uh -huh. trying to think of something that 95 means, but I can't think of anything. Um, I was 10 in 1995. <laughs> That's all I can think of. That's all I can think Does of. Anybody, is anybody's lucky number 95? I feel mm. like probably not. <coughs> Do they even go that high in sports? <laughs> the sports. <laughs> The sports, I don't know, that's a good <laughs> question. Know. Somebody who does the sports, please tell us. Hey, so if this is your first time, oh, welcome. welcome. Our audio does work. Cool. Yay. All right, so if this is your first time, we have Twitter happening. Aubrey's got Twitter. And Hashtag Tea Time. You can tweet your questions or comments, and um, I will be reading them here. And then I've got <laughs> YouTube up over here with the comments, although it looks like the comments up. Oh, no, oh, there yeah. they are. Okay. So um, today we're going to be discussing Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page because the sequel, The Wicked Will Rise, <laughs> goes on sale next week. So that's our book club this month. I hope you all read it. I hope you guys all read it, too. We're not going to spoil it, but we're going to mm -hmm. talk about it at length. General discussion. And just so <laughs> to remind everybody, we are doing a live tea time at the end of every month. Um, the last Wednesday of every month, so which or just a like, live book club every month. The so. book we all read. Mm -hmm. The book that we are all obsessed with. Um, and doing these for right, right. Uh, uh. So, but first, and as always, what are you reading this week? What are you guys reading this week? Tell us on the interwebs. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going. I'm going adult. You're going. She's going to the dark side, you guys. I'm. Um, I have a big thick. Hefty, small printed book. Oh my god, let me see. Uh, Dead Weight by Eric Larson. It's got the skin paper. Um, you're probably aware of who this is. He wrote one of my favorite books of all time, The Devil in the White City, where it's a mash of um, fact and fiction. Oh my god, yeah, the fun's um, so small. And Actually, this it's is not that bad. No, it's not that bad. And it's like really great. It's very, he does a very good like historical read for me. Um, nice. So now I'm learning about the uh, the Lusitania and how it collided with the submarine. I don't know what any of that. I don't know any of those words you just it's used. It's really good, except it's, for submarine. It's really good. It was a big cruise <laughs> ship in um, right before World War II started. Mm -hmm. It took a whole bunch of passengers over, and Germany tried to take. Oh. Um, because they're cool. like, we're not gonna. Who cares about the rules of war? We're going after that civilian boat. That sounds like something light and fluffy. I know. It's, look how far I am. Woo! I am reading Magonia. Magonia. Magonia uh, this week, which comes out on April 28th. It will go right to here. Literally, this thing right here, it kind of plays in with the book. I'm not going to talk about this too much because this book is crazy pants, and it's like, it's, what? I mean, the world is. Like, what? I don't even know what I'm reading. But it's amazing, and it's fantasy, and it's... It's very original, that's for sure. So yeah, it's one of those books where you're like, just read it because I I'm, I can't can't just tell you. It. I know. <laughs> so, squalls, I, squalls, squalls. So we're gonna just dive into our Dorothy Must Die discussion because when we first announced this book, like what a year and a half ago, yeah, we were freaking out about it because it's a retelling of The Wizard of Oz, but Dorothy's evil. It is so good. It's one of those books that like you, we, you would hear about at like pitch or like and just lean forward and you're like, like on the street. You're like, yes, please. I would like to hear more. And then you got it and you're like, it's everything it's you everything. ever hoped it would be. It's everything you wanted. Yeah. Um, do a little book shimmy if you read it. Just I mean book at shimmy. home. Book shimmy. You know? The sequel, The Wicked Will Rise, goes on sale on Tuesday. So if you haven't read Dorothy, you've got a week to read it before the sequel comes out. What's your favorite thing? I'm just going to go right into it. Oh, we have questions. Like, we have a question list and everything. Yeah. Um, how did you feel? I mean, this is a loaded question for the Oz-obsessed. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Yes. She was a huge Oz fan. I mean, you still are. Yeah. But what do you feel about this returning to Oz, and how do you think it did? How do I feel about the return to Oz? I am not one of those people that's, like, a elf you know, the Frank Baum, like, oh, everything has to stay true to the original, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. I mean, the original was great, but, like, I think all of the variations that have come since then, like, Tin Man and The Wiz and, like, so many, and Dorothy Must Die have come along, and they've done really well at just taking the original and expanding upon it. And I yeah. think, because, you know, it's not one of those classics where it's, like, 
I mean, a lot of people are probably like purists and are like, nothing can change. But yeah. I'm like, this, the original story is cray cray. It's but so the wacky. original story, it's just building on the original story. It's, it is building on it. I mean, there are like 96 sequels to The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, the original yeah. book. They're just like, they keep going. And I feel like this is just it's another, another one of those. Like, it's just, it's like number 97 or whatever. So I actually think um, this book definitely does an amazing job at and it completely completely re, changes it completely flips it on its head it's so inventive and fresh it's like a mirror of it it's just yeah. everything is backwards it's like bizarro world it is but it totally makes sense i think what i got sold into it was before the book came out mm -hmm. there was the like prequel to it talking about the how, return to us spoiler alert dorothy's evil i don't know if that's a spoiler alert you probably shouldn't She's... be watching this right now She's a evil. Beat, you should die. <laughs> but the prequel explains how she goes from, you know, like, la, la, la. I'm dead. To I'm having again. her to have to die. Mm -hmm. And it is so well thought out and so believable. You believe the transition, and I think that's fantastic. And then this world just kind of. It, 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 the only thing, though, I have to say, the only thing, the only character who's different, like, vastly different than they were in the original that really breaks my heart is the Scarecrow because the Scarecrow in Dorothy Must Die, as you guys know, is like insane. They're all pretty. But he does like crazy experiments on like the monkeys and stuff, you know? Yeah. Like he's doing some nasty, nasty stuff. And the thing is, is like he was my favorite character in the original movie. Because he's so like old. He's like, I don't have a brain. But I, yeah. I think that. Um, Neil Gaiman in Coraline has ruined me for the creepiness of button eyes for the rest of oh! my life. And that is taken to the nth degree in this. Yeah. It it's, is. It is a little bit Gaiman-ish. It's like if Neil Gaiman, like, wore patent leather stilettos. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That seems like a weird thing to say, but, you know. It was also, uh, it's just shocking. I was not expecting it to be so dark. I know. It's very dark. It's super dark. So let's talk about Dorothy, guys. Old Dorothy versus the new dark Dorothy. Who's Who do you like more? Um, Who do you guys like more? I mean, I, because, I don't know. It, I, it's not, it's not a surprise that I love villains. Like, it's my, like, my favorite thing. So I love new Dorothy, and I love that there's that backstory to explain why mm -hmm. she has kind of become this um, tyrannical ruler of mm -hmm. Oz, and I love it. I mean, it's always fun to have a really good villain, and she's an excellent villain, a very mm -hmm. well-dressed villain. Yeah. Um, I mean, I love the original, because Dorothy, I mean, oh, Dorothy, she's so great in the movie and in the books, and she's, in the books, she's like 12. Yeah. In the movie, they age her up a lot, because, you know, she wasn't 12. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, I don't know, I think, I think I like this Dorothy more. It's just a better There's villain. There's more layers, yeah. She's a better villain than the Wicked Witch of the West, in my opinion, yeah, in, yeah. in the original book. So I also love that. Because the, the world is much more brutal. It's true. <laughs> it is. It is much more brutal. Um, like, poppy seeds was, like, the most dangerous thing. <laughs> oh, no. I'm walking through a field of flowers. Oh. There are acid bubbles in this. There's, like, monkeys who have their wings nubbed off. There's so, like, yeah, that's, I mean, that one of those monkeys is, like, a main character. There are mm -hmm. new characters. Lots of new characters. Who's your favorite? New character? Yeah. Um, I would probably have to say Amy, who is the protagonist in Dorothy Must Die. She's got pink hair, and she's kind of a bit of a, like, she's a badass, and she she's comes sassy. from a trailer park, and mm -hmm. she's, like, lands in Oz, and immediately is just sort of like, Mm, nope. uh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Dislike. <laughs> How do I get the hell out of here? Yeah. Um, you know, she's not all like, la, 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 la. She's like, no, seriously, how do I get out of here? Yeah, and she's not immediately like, lands and like, oh, yeah, this is my mission now, and I have to do it. She's like, wait, are you sure that I'm the one that's supposed to kill Dorothy? I'm like, are you sure? Yeah. I'm supposed to control magic? Yeah, uh, no. Also, she has, instead of Toto, she has a pet rat, which is awesome. I love it. And so, like, I don't know. It's just so perfect for this book. It's, it's like, oh, Toto. No, it's a rat. It's it's pretty spot on to, like, just matching the world building. Mm -hmm. And you love, you love Star as much as you love Toto. He's like a little character. Just, 
He's just a little like, he's all like, meh, meh, meh. No, me. no. um, okay, so let's talk about the, we could talk about all of the There's things. a lot of stuff. We've got like all these questions, this list of questions. I don't think we're going to get here. to them all. Um, so I want to talk about the magic. You want to talk about the magic? Okay, let's okay. talk about the magic. I like that the magic is different than like magical worlds that I've seen where it's just like that is the currency in Oz. Right, and it's not Plentiful. guaranteed. And it's, put, yeah. There's like a, you know, it's, it's like oil in the world. It will yeah. dry up. It will dry up. <laughs> and of course, Dorothy's like, I deserve all the power because I've saved Oz. She's like, um, a pee, a I pee? should have it all. Also, uh, I I just thought that that was really interesting because like what make what defines power in a magical place? Magic, magic. Mm -hmm. It just it seems so what straightforward, but I'd never seen it presented like that before. What happens if the magic completely dries up? I mean, does it just Oz go away? Is Oz does magic fuel Oz? Like probably without magic, does Oz even exist? It's kind of like in Snow White Ashes. It is kind of like in Snow White yeah. Ashes. Ah, oh, parallels. Parallels. All right, we're gonna check in with everybody right now. Um, ooh, Jackie at Jacqueline Yu says, "I think the trailer for The Wicked Will Rise was one of the better trailers I've ever seen." Oh, sweet. it's on our channel. Sweet. You can go somewhere and see it. So somebody asked if you could read the Dorothy Must Die stories like before or after the the first book, and um, e somebody Elon's world. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, said. I read the Dorothy Must Die stories after I read the first book. I thought it was better that way. Um, I think No Place Like Oz, this collection has the three short stories. No Place Like Oz, you definitely need to read before. You can I mean, read you it. Could, you could read it afterwards. It just adds context. You're yeah. not coming in lost. But um, but the other ones, honestly, I think these are all meant to be read at any time. So, Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. Um, can we do our best? So that one. Also, one of my favorite little things from yeah. it is um, Glenda, the perma smile. Oh my god, the perma smile. Can we? That do was our, the ghoulest invention of the whole book. Can we do like our fake? Per so it's basically this. Okay. It's like Glenda's <laughs> lipstick that she puts on okay. to permanently smile. Margo's gonna blow me out of the water with this because her oh, face no. is like elasticized. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, wait, I moved my mouth. I didn't have a perfect smile. That was like... You did like a joker smile. <laughs> perma smile, I think, would be great to have when you're like at a job and you're like, oh, I hate, oh, like, I hate everyone, but I don't want them to know, so I'm just going to put it on and smile. It's like a beauty pageant thing. Or when you're like at, with your parents and they're just like driving you crazy. You're just like, mm -hmm, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> um, cool the final thing... Is that the wicked will rise? Mm -hmm. Literally, if you read Dorothy Mitchell, you will know that it ends with a lot of mess. Yeah, and this picks up right where it left off because mm -hmm. I was like, uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we haven't read That's a really articulate. We haven't read the wicked will rise yet because I've been waiting. You know, we we didn't have like galleys for or you know advanced copies mm -hmm. for it or anything. Um, so. We just, this hardcover is the first time we've ever actually been able to like hold so it and look at it and smell it and undress. Oh yeah, way to undress these. They're so good. Oh! It's like bleh. Bleh. Wait, does she have one too? Oh yeah. Oh, I like them. I, I like, like them. those. Those look good together. They do. I would probably put just this on my shelf. I know, like, right? Like facing outward. Yeah. Also, um, there's we also did time. really fun uh, parody videos. Oh my god, you guys have to. You have, I mean, they're nothing like the world, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun making them. So we made, Aubrey and I, I don't know, we where we got this dumb <laughs> idea, but we were like, oh my god, it'd be so funny if like we made a Real Housewives, but with Dorothy. As like kind of a the, in the vein that Dorothy is like a horrible person now. Yeah, and she's we like had a mean girl, and so we made those videos. There's three of them. They're on our channel. Um, they're a lot of fun. If you haven't watched them, they're a little wacky. They're a little wacky. They're a little yeah. wacky, but they're fun. <laughs> we had a lot of fun making them, and uh, but yeah, that was that was good times. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna cut our Dorothy Must Die our book club chat short this month because. It's a sad day in the world. One Direction is losing a member, and so is 
Team Epic Reads. I don't know if you guys follow us on Twitter, but we, Aubrey announced today, there's a letter from Aubrey on our Tumblr. She's moving to Chicago. <laughs> I just got to curl under the table. I don't know what to do. Tell us, tell us. I'm moving to Chicago. I am moving. I don't know what I'm going to do. My husband's job's taking us there. Boo. I'm going to buy a lot of fleece-lined articles of clothing, I assume. Boo. Um, but yeah. So this is Aubrey's last week here at <laughs> Team Epic Reads. I was like, Team Epic Reads. No, that's no. not the name. Um, here at Epic Reads, and it's really sucky. It's sad. Um, so we we invented invented. We, <laughs> you know, a lot of people always ask like, how did Tea Time get started? And it happened about a a little over a year and a half ago, two yeah, years yeah, ago, two years ago, around two years ago when we just were eating lunch and we we're like hey let's go try out this like live thingy video, video platform thing so we just sat and we're like okay click on don't know what this is but if anybody is watching this we is literally are i don't know you could probably find it i think it was originally on your stream we were literally shoving our faces with food yes. being like all right Hi, books. <laughs> yeah, I actually, I think the originals might be over on YouTube now. I yeah. think I think we transferred them over, but. Oh, God. Um, yeah, if you watch the, if you go back and watch the old, like, very first Tea Time Center, like, so weird. And we honestly never thought that it would grow the way that it's no, grown. No, it's been and, so much fun, and I'm very heartbroken and sad to leave it. It's going to be tough, but I'll be on the internet <laughs> still. <laughs> and I'll love books is still. Books is still, and everyone can tweet me what they want to read, <laughs> and I'll be in the epic read sphere just as much as every Oh, look at all this stuff. I know, we're, we're, checking in with, we're checking in with YouTube right now. I'm sad. Everybody's sad. Everybody's like, oh, Chicago, come hang out with me. Oh. Um, somebody said you can hang out with Oprah. I can do that. I can do that. We're, we're already besties. Everybody's saying no, and I agree with them. Um, she's not, she didn't even run this, like, by me. No. I had no opportunity to be like, well, I veto this. Nope. You cannot. I saw leave. that when, like, you tweeted it. Somebody was like, "How did Margo allow this?" I <laughs> she didn't even. She's just like, "Oh, by the way, I'm moving to Chicago." And I yeah. was like, "Oh, let me love you." <laughs> um, so I have a little thing for you. <gasps> no. So oh, look at that tote. We've collected some like signatures over yeah. the years. Mm -hmm. So I want you to have this tote, and then there's Aww. some stuff in there um, that will oh, remind you. Our... <laughs> that will remind <laughs> you of. Your times at Epic Reads. Oolong teas. So our teas mm -hmm. for tea time. <gasps> oh, I'm going to cry. Random glasses. All of the like... props. <laughs> I don't remember what episode we wore those, but this episode was when we were doing something about Batman because of... It was gift a lot. Yeah, it was the Broken Hearted was about Batman, so we... I love that. Batman and ballet. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we wore Batman and we did squid hands. Oh, yeah. Squid, squid hands. hands. Squid, squid hands. hands. <laughs> I was going to be my favorite thing we could make happen. <laughs> uh, book shimmy t-shirt. So, you know, you can this book is a better, better one than I currently have. I know. I it's found like, them, but I was like, wait, why don't we already have these? Um, <laughs> some using case and feels tissues. Important. Because you have lots of those. I'm going to try. A baby snorkels. Uh, this sucks. You can't leave. It sucks. But, um, and the first book that we ever bonded over, which is like the best book. I'm really sad right now. I'm really sad too. Um, yeah, I remember the, so I started at Harper. I don't know how long you had been there, but, um, we, I came in and this book was like sitting out on the, on the shelves. Like we just got in the galleys for them and we started reading them at the same time and, we were both basically like freaking out because they were just this book it's is beautiful. so amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, the first time I ever met Aubrey was in a meeting, and it was this meet in my like first week in publishing, you know. And I'm like trying to be all quiet and calm, and then I realized, oh god, these meetings are so boring. Um, and then Aubrey just like rolled in late, and you were eating like pretzels or popcorn or something. You're like shoveling them in your mouth, and you're like somebody was. <laughs> Somebody was talking about something, and you're like, I have an idea, and then you just, like, went off on this thing, and it was such a great idea, and you were just so full of, like, life and energy, Aww. and I was just like, she's going to be my work wife. <laughs> uh, we sat right next to each other, we did and it was basically, we still do now, but now we're in cubicles. 
diagonals. I know we are. Well, originally we used to sit diagonally, but yeah. then we sat next to each other and made a giant mess. All the mess. All the messes. Margaret, you was you were always the person where I look up and be like, "Hey, you want to do this dumb thing?" And you're like, "Yeah, I do." <laughs> we did a lot of dumb, dumb things, things over the last two years. Before we moved to this new office, we were with the adult team. Yeah, and they <laughs> didn't get it. So one day, okay, this is the, my favorite one. One day we were like, "Hey, it'd be really cool to um, like." make some gifts of us of us doing workouts with books yeah um they're the gifts are over on tumblr if you haven't seen they're them. pretty helpful they're actually amazing but we were doing them on the floor like in this open room while, while people are just like doing their job but there was a meeting with like the executives yeah. right next door while we're like doing sit-ups and like trying to do push-ups and like giggling and like running around acting like crazy pants you want to hear my favorite story yeah, yeah. you were making some video i don't even remember what it was but we needed a shot of like the books kind of looking like they were floating Oh, yeah. And so I took my, I, were, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll stand up on this conference room table. And I took my shoes off because I thought it was rude <laughs> to have shoes on the table. And we did it. And then we left. And then like 30 minutes later, the receptionist called me and was like, hey, did you stand on the table? And I was like, yeah, yeah, is that okay? And she goes, yeah, well, our CEO just went in there in the meet for a meeting and asked why there were footprints all over his table. Anything that was like, what, what is, what's happening here was usually our fault. <laughs> yeah. We got in trouble a lot, but it was fun. It was yeah. always fun. Remember this time we were freaking out over I don't, something and somebody broke in while we were on tea time? Oh, I was like, yeah. you guys really need to be quiet. <laughs> I think we were announcing the Epic Reads tour and we were like, Chicago, New York, this is dates. And they were like, you guys really be quiet and we're like oh, oh not possible I just got called out by teach mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah, well it's been a good time and literally I didn't think that this would ever be what my job would look like I know and it's been a lot of fun and I'm gonna miss it's it and great crazy. it's been a lot of fun working with you and doing tea time and I'm gonna miss you I'm gonna miss you I'm gonna cry okay well, so we will tea time. Who knows what's gonna happen at tea time? But next week um, we're gonna do a video where we talk with Adam Silvera, the author of More Happy Than Not, mm -hmm. um, about diversity in YA. So if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. But you'll be hearing more about what's gonna happen with Are We Being Gone and all that. There are amazing other people here, and you will find new, no, we won't. amazing things. No, yes, we won't. Won't. everyone sucks. <laughs> Everyone is the worst compared to you. All right, oh, so I love you. <laughs> we'll see you guys uh, soon. And next month, we will have another live book club. And we're going to read Simon versus the Homo sapiens agenda. Oh, that one's so cool. I know. And maybe we'll get Aubrey to do a couple more videos before she leaves. Okay, we're going to go now. Okay, bye. bye. Wait, you have to book shimmy. Oh, one wait. last book shimmy. Okay, okay. book shimmy. Oh, and ready? Me, me. And then derp face, final derp face. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> I don't even know what. And bye. bye.